Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I've never technically done, like, an official challenge challenge before, but today I'm going to try doing a challenge, and that challenge is armored cars only, kind of in this, in a similar light to artillery only. I'll be following many of the same rules, and I think it will be interesting. It's going to be pretty fun to try this out. <laughs> be playing on Iron Man mode and of course the rules will kind of be following the basic artillery only rules which is in this area you're only allowed to have armored cars nothing else is allowed you can still have your regular support companies but you have to have armored cars as your main division also for armies I'm allowed to have regular armies I'm just not allowed to use them this is just mainly for um, Anschluss and the Demand Sudetenland fo focuses just so those are actually possible to complete because I won't be able to, to get that much manpower into using armored cars for a long time because it's going to be hard to produce and so basically an overview of armored cars they have the organization of tanks which is like 10 but then they're not as good as tanks that's basically what they are they're completely useless for the most part I think they're kind of good at suppression Maybe I can't I don't I don't even know all I know is they're pretty much worthless So it'll be fun using them. You can actually get armored car tank destroyers. I believe yeah So that's probably more useful, but that's not until 42 and of course it, it's probably obvious We'll be going down mobile warfare just because there's plenty of bonuses along the way like armored car organization plus two right there. Then there's another organization plus seven right there. So we'll probably go through for Blitzkrieg. And a positive to armored cars is they actually don't use rubber. So you can just make as many interwar armored cars as you want without having to trade with anybody. Even though technically they probably should use rubber because of the wheels. I don't really think that they should use any less rubber than the motorized use but that's just a convenience for us to makes things slightly easier we'll also actually produce infantry equipment and artillery and support equipment just for these for the support companies and then this just for divisions to get Austria and the Sudetenland and since by the rules of the challenge we're not forced to choose armored car recon companies I'm going to choose the armored plain armored recon company well I guess the armored car is called the light armor Recon company. We're gonna choose the regular one just mostly because of if you look it the heavy armored one has a lot more piercing and breakthrough Well, the other one just has more reconnaissance and I think the piercing and breakthrough will probably be important Especially for the Soviet Union and also another really important development in this entire strategy is also getting to armored cars too because there's a big difference in these the hard attack is doubled and the soft attack is more than doubled of course there's more fuel usage and production cost but that that's a pretty big difference so we'll have to make good use out of make some elite divisions to possibly get encirclements because defense is going to be our problem okay so i've i'm starting the Molotov ribbentrop pact which is pretty necessary. There's no way we have enough armored cars to fight a war on two fronts. We'll have to make an armored car garrison for this. And then after Poland's done, it should be easy, I would think. I don't I don't really know what to think. <laughs> this is quite the meme. We're quite a bit behind on the production of armored cars. I'm pretty much starting to put everything into it. Every factor I get from now on will just go straight into armored cars. Also, fuel is going to be terrible. Okay, well, it's time to get things started, kind of. I'm still desperately behind in supplies. This may go terribly, but I think it's about time I delete my main army, which will refresh a lot of my supplies. It's pretty much only armored cars that I'm slightly behind on. Defending the Maginot is kind of scary. I'm probably not gonna put troops over there in like Eastern Prussia. Looks like Italy is going to help me too, which is good, but yeah. Well, we'll have to see. I think it's about time we declare this war, whether ready or not ready. We'll probably have to cancel those and then maybe we, yeah, okay, we're still fine. I probably won't call Italy into the war just because that's kind of cheating. We we should have to take out Poland by ourselves, right? Okay, let's see if how things work initially. Yeah, that's that's what I expected. Lots of red. It looks like we're holding though across the Maginot. 
They're not trying to push out of their defensive positions. That'd probably be terrible for them if they did, because then I could easily counterattack them here where I have no forts. Well, it took us long enough to get a one encirclement. It's That's kind of unnerving that it took that long to just get one pretty small encirclement, but... Yeah, we. I, I have. I still have hope that this is going to be at least somewhat possible. If we don't attack France soon enough, things are going to start getting really difficult, though. Well, this this is actually a miracle encirclement that maybe could happen. That's a bit of divisions. It's not enough to end the war, but that's quite a bit. Italy sent divisions over here and there in the war now, but they're not attacking really. They have like six divisions total over here not attacking so I guess that you could say they're helping hold the line but like everywhere there's an Italian division there's one of my divisions that probably won't be attacked anyways yep there we go okay first actually kind of decent encirclement oh that feels good they still have enough divisions that I can't just roll over them but at least this is a start this is something okay Hungary has come to save us from this embarrassment uh, yeah, and the Soviet Union's coming in too, so... Hmm, this is interesting. This is a very interesting development, because now the Soviet Union is at war with the Allies. So maybe this was like the meta strategy, let's go with that. This was actually a professional strategy by me to get the Soviet Union at war with the Allies. And do you know what? Oh, they don't want military access. They'll give us military access. If they wanted military access, that would be very useful for us. Oh no, the Netherlands- oh, wait. I didn't know that the Netherlands did that, okay. Let's hope Poland capitulates quickly, we're moving over to the Netherlands. There, good, good timing. There we go. We'll send some more divisions to go deal with Poland. Some others will begin getting a planning bonus on Belgium. And France has a lot of divisions over here, so hopefully that means their divisions aren't guarding Paris. I still think they have disjointed government for slightly longer, so we can maybe do something. Yugoslavia wants to join. Nice, they can join. Okay, time for... We're almost to ready for the Iran Maginot. This... We only have one chance to get to Paris really fast. I'm gonna try to pull every trick in the book just to try to get Paris. gonna have to take some more stuff this is unfortunate wait what okay well that everything was going pretty terribly we were losing here we were having to move troops here because of this but apparently France I guess capitulated finally <laughs> or maybe not oh we just established Vichy France but France still here okay Oh, there they are. Okay, then now they capitulated. We just had to take a few more cities. Wow, that was pretty crazy, though. We're all, we already have to repel a D-Day, too. Well, a ton of our army got overrun, but... Wait, does Vichy France become Free France when they get liberated? That's weird. Okay, that first attempt had some issues, but now I think I've got things under control. We'll now be doing what I'm going to call... Poland skip. You can probably guess what it is. When Poland joins the Allies, they're technically a minor, so you don't really need to ever capitulate them. So, I, by the rules I set up, I still have to declare war on Poland, and I just did Danziger War, so I have the war goal, and I can delete all the non-armored car divisions. But I have, so I have to declare war on Poland in 1940. But what I can do is I can ignore Poland and then just go straight for Paris, quickly p capitulate France this time, and then try to naval invade 
um, the United Kingdom before they actually start being competent with defending themselves. We set up a defensive line on this river. I also have two divisions, a defense division and an attack division. I actually don't even have my attack army out yet. It's still training, but you, I have some time for a round of Maginot. But we'll just declare this war and let them come to our border. We won't let Slovakia join just so we don't have to defend that. No, if Italy capitulates, this is going to be the biggest meme ever. Oh, we're the ones trying to do armored cars only, and if Italy's the one that loses, I'm going to be angry. It's time. It's time to start this. We In this game, I invested a lot more into my air, too. You can probably notice that things are a lot better this time around. Oh, but if Italy loses, I'm going to be seriously angry. They better start holding. Or maybe we can capitulate France really quickly or something. Okay, Netherlands capitulated. Now this is the moment we need to get Paris. I did it last time. I think France was just strong enough that I couldn't capitulate them at that point. They had done some stability stuff, but we should be able to win by capturing Paris now. And Poland isn't a major, right? Yeah, they're never a major, as far as I know. So they should capitulate if I can take the UK after this. Maybe no division in Paris, though. <laughs> if there's no division in Paris, this is it. Oh. oh, there's no division in Paris. This could be the end. This could be a quick end of France right here. Ah, oh, we did it. Okay, well, we haven't actually done it yet. We've been here before. I and another really good sign is there are British d divisions in Poland and is still in Africa, too. And a ton down here. So if we can capitulate... Great, the UK, or at least land there before they take Africa, we're, we're doing fine, especially with divisions in Poland, too. So they technically should have even less units than normal. Yeah, sorry, so actually, Slovakia could... Mm, I, I don't trust them. They're probably gonna capitulate and ruin everything. Okay, it's time. I've, I haven't been sinking, sinking any ships, so they obviously don't have any ships out in the channel. So they must just have... I've only been sinking convoys. Okay, there it is. This could be it. If we can successfully attack, if they have enough divisions on their mainland, they can easily repel us. The only reason we capitulated France was sheer surprise. They shouldn't have any garrison units. They rarely do. I'd be surprised if they do. Okay, they have one unit there now, but... Oh, they actually have a lot of divisions in London, but if we can quickly surround London, we can probably deorg the divisions. And yeah, they actually have an army here. That's unfortunate. They must have fixed the AI in La Resistance or something. Yeah, our divisions are just getting overrun. That's the problem. Their organization is too low. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So... Even even trying to skip Poland is still pretty hard too. It's difficult. The the defense units organization was just too low. The divisions were just being overrun left and right. That was my main problem for the most part. Great Britain's AI is different too. I wasn't planning on them actually being competent and having a garrison. Well, those were my first two attempts. I've never actually even made an armored car division before today, so I still have a lot to learn. I did no practice or anything or research before this, so but I think at this point I have a strategy that I want to use. So I'll see you guys next time in future attempts and we'll definitely be conquering the world with only armored cars. And I'll see you when we get to that day.